guys, welcome back to Brunette Confessions. If you're asking where I've been, I've been working. Yes, it was a long 2020 and very busy one as well. And Zimba, are, are you gonna let me do this video or are you gonna be biting? What are you gonna do? I need her to be quiet. And as you saw in the title of this video, I got a little puppy and right now I don't know what he wants. I don't know, I don't know what he wanted. What do you want? Oh, I think he wants me to put him in the couch. Okay, come. Gosh, sweetie. Okay, come on. Come on. Here you go. So, where was I? Yes, yeah, so it was a very busy 2020. Um, I, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. There were some times that it was kind of tough like I wanted to balance um, my blog and good work and it was just way too much that I just couldn't do it but I do have to admit I did try to do this well not this video specifically but I did try to do um, videos and film for the blog a few times and then when I would go back to like edit and watch it I just didn't like the quality or what I had filmed um, so I just never just never made it on my channel um, but here we are new year new goals new stuff that I want to do um, I do want to do like a little recap sorry I hear dog in my mouth so I do want to do a little recap of 2020 and just go over um, some of the things I did that I just want to pick up where I left off let's put it that way um <laughs> nugget um so yeah first things first this is little puppy Jimba he's gotten so big he is an f1 standard golden doodle I got him from a breeder up in North Georgia hey are you gonna keep biting me Dim so now that the pillow's gone and the dog's gone maybe I can concentrate and do this video so, all right, so let me just catch you guys up real quick what my 2020 looked like. Um, the last video I did, I think you guys, um, it was because I hit like a thousand subscribers. So I get, did the little like get to know me, whatever. But then before that, I had a few things. Um, you guys know I'm still living in Georgia, South Georgia to be exact. Um, let me go back a few months let's see what I've been up to all right I went deep into 2019 we don't want to go that far in uh let's see so after being in South Georgia for like a few months whatever in April is when I moved here in May I went back home I returned my car because it was due so I got a Jeep love it um what else did I do oh and then the first time I take off the roof. I get poured on, but it's all good. It survived. Um, what else did I do? So in July, July I got COVID. I went through COVID. Um, I I don't know how I got it. Probably like in a grocery store or something. I don't know. Who knows? I just know that I did. Um, I started getting some symptoms when I was visiting in Miami, but I think I already had it from Georgia. So I think I got it like. In Georgia for sure um, so yeah I started um, feeling bad in Miami I took the test I was sick uh, it wasn't so bad thank God you know not everybody's so lucky um, I just got um, I just lost my taste and smell so that's about it and my body was just like very tired and stuff but then I recovered um, I feel like that that time really took like a, a toll on me, like emotionally, like on my mental health. Just being stuck in a room and away from everyone for like, like 14 days. It was, it was tough. My life was very tough. So then in August, fast forward to August, I went and visited some Kenya State Park in Georgia. That was fun. Um, let's fast forward to 
another visit to Miami in September. Okay, so actually let me go back to August. No. In August, I actually, um, I lost my dog, my firstborn. Um, he passed away out of nowhere. I had Jax for, Jax for like four years, I think. So he was fairly young. He just passed away. It was very, very tough on me. Um, took a strong hold. Um, and then a few days later, my grandpa by my dad's side, he also passed away. Um, he passed away from COVID. So August was a very dark, dark month. It was a very, very tough month for me. Um, emotionally, it was, it was very bad. And then I got to come home in September. So it was it felt nice to be like with the family again, living away. It's been tough. Um, I've been getting really like homesick and it's it's not fun, especially when you're very family oriented, you just wanna be back home. Um, but you know, gotta make sacrifices out here. But yeah, in September when I went back home, it felt all night, it felt I felt better. Um, when I had to like come back after, so that was good. Um, let's see what else. I went to Atlanta, that was lit, very fun times. Um, and then mid October, I went to Oktoberfest in Helen because obviously, you know, you could go to Germany. Um, and that was really really fun. I went with my sorority sisters, who some of them live in Atlanta. Oh, and on the day after, we went hiking. Um, I forgot what the name of the the park was or the mountain or whatever, but it was very nice. And then we're gonna fast forward to October, my birthday, my 25th birthday. Honestly, it was really, really fun. Even though it was like in the middle of a pandemic, I felt like some sense of normalcy and that was really fun. I went to, I had dinner with family and friends at Baoli. It was lit. And then that was the that was the 30th, so the night before Halloween, my birthday's Halloween. So the 31st, I just went to some like random house party there that some friends invited us. Um, and that was really fun as well. Very, very, very fun. Love me some Halloween parties and good old house parties. You know, it's been a while, so sense of normalcy there was was very needed and then uh, that's it okay and then in the month of September actually I felt like I just needed I needed someone to be here with me is he biting this choker thing let go no so in the month of September I felt lonely <laughs> for lack of a better word to put it so that's when I was like that's it I'm getting a dog I need a dog in my life um, so I started looking for breeders, whatever, and then I found the one um, in North Georgia. Very good people to work with. Breeder A1, puppy A1. Um, if you so this is when the puppies were born. Zimbo was born October 12th, if I'm not mistaken. And then I got to visit him in November. He actually came home early December. Um, there he is. Already fed up with life. That's a baby. He didn't even know what, what was coming. And then in November, I had some days off. So I went with the family to Savannah, Georgia. It was pretty fun. Um, really cute little place. And all that good stuff. You know, I just had a little mini photo shoot over there because you know me. Had to have a little photo shoot. Shout out to my brother, he was my photographer. Um, and then, Zimba came home, got his little puppy Zimba. Now he's all grown up. Well, not completely, but he's he's growing. He's growing for sure. Um, and then came Christmas. Um, I also had a few days off from work, so I met up with the family in Orlando. Um, that was fun. We ate good some sightseeing and all that good stuff and then for new year's i was able to fly back home so i spent time with the family it was very much needed for the soul um i took a stroll down the beach ah, i miss the beach so much just those views i miss it i want it back um i 
and yup, little Zimba enjoyed it. And then, and then that's about it. And now we are here, guys. It's 2021. Time to make some moves. Moves that I didn't make as much in 2020. Wish I had, but things happen. This job is very takes a toll on you mentally, physically, emotionally. It's a lot being an mmj is not easy i do want to do videos i know i said i've said this before about um going to details about you know what's required in the job or whatever just give advice for other fellow reporters or sparring reporters and mmjs who want to get in the field and don't really know what mmj is well you, you should know because it's not easy um yeah you should know what you're getting yourself into but I still love my job, I still enjoy it, I enjoy what I do, and I wish this dog wouldn't bite my hands, but you know, it's all good here. And, um, and yeah, guys, I hope I, that little recap was a little helpful of where I've been. I hope to be more present this year, and yeah. So, Zimba, you want to say bye? He is already, I think, 13, 14 weeks. 13, 14 weeks is probably right. Um, you want to say bye, Zimba? Want to say bye to the camera? No? No? Okay. Um, a little bit about Zimba, actually, he, he's a very smart dog. So he, the first thing he learned was how to, where to pee and poop. And that's been great because obviously, like, nobody wants to be cleaning pee pee and poop 24-7. So he got that down, packed, hella fast, very good. He got sick very fast. We're working on the down and he knows his name and the demands. Um, when I call him over, we, we're working on a few things, starting with biting. He has a biting problem, which I'm not having it. So I bought him like that little shock electrical collar. I am not a bad dog mom. It's just like, it was very frustrating and he needs to learn. And honestly, that's been very, very helpful. Obviously, I put it on a low level. I don't want to electrocute or kill my damn dog. But it's been, it's been helpful. So if you have a dog that is just not doing what they need to be doing and you're not having it, I really recommend it. Um, you wanna go down? Say bye, buddy. Oh, he wants to get water, I think, or who knows what he wants. Yeah, he wants water. So I shall be back soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.